the European Union will begin banning nanohydroxy appetite. Let me elucidate on what actually is going on. It is not banned. Hydroxy appetite is what's in our teeth. It is calcium and it's safer and as good as fluoride. Nano is the same material, but it's been processed. It's made into a smaller piece. It's smaller than the size of the dentinal tubules, which is where we get sensitive teeth from. But the question is, is it toxic? Uh, they're reviewing nano particles uh, in cosmetic products. You know, we're worried about nano metal particles, silver, uh, titanium. We're talking about a mineral here that dissolves in contact with intracellular fluids, uh, saliva, the tooth needs it. In other words, it's demineralizing, it's heading towards the cavity, then it can grab from that. Nano hydroxyapatite particles are in that review. It has not been banned. And in the US, there wouldn't we wouldn't be having this discussion. Look, we've got fluoride in our water, right? But the evidence against fluoride just keeps piling on. And remember, whatever you put in your mouth gets into your bloodstream. And not just by ingestion, by, by absorption, the oral mucosa. So yes, we should be worried about what's in our toothpaste. Uh, in the meantime, I'm using my nano-based uh, hydroxyapatite toothpaste. The good news is that we have both options available here in the U.S. Let's stay away from the real toxins and let's get our teeth as healthy as we possibly can.